Hello, Year 10 and 11 photography students at Duke's Academy. Today I'm doing a quickish tutorial on how to do um, Photoshop editing using the patch tool in the style of Lola Dupre. I presume it's Dupre. She's an island-based collage artist, as it says here. She works with paper, scissors and glue on wood panels. Um, as you can see, it's her fascination for the grotesque and some might consider the ugly or bizarre, which is quite fun. Remember, we are working towards our project, which is about destroying and distorting. So this is very, very relevant to the year 10 project that you will be doing for component one. Um, her work, again, is quite unusual, but we are looking mainly at this image here where she cuts out eyes, mouths, noses, and she places them on a rather grotesque, drawn out head. Now we're not going to be warping them in this way, although I do love the way she's warped it. I'm simply showing you the basics at the moment on how to use the patch tool to duplicate elements of the face. So that is simply, we're just looking at the basics today of how to duplicate elements of the face in the style of Lola Dupre. So hopefully you will enjoy this. If you're interested in her work, go and have another look at her work. And off we go. Let's have a go at this. First things first, click on the patch tool. Then click on destination, not source, destination. Then I want you to open the image that you are going to edit today. So file open, click on the image you want. So I'm just gonna show mine as icons so you can see them. I've got some Adobe stock here, free Adobe stock to use. You are obviously using your own photographs. So open up my photo, there we go. So what I'm going to do is using that patch tool, I'm going to select his eye I'm going to draw around, I'm holding down the left key on my mouse, I'm drawing around it and when I let go, I get the marching ants as you can see and I'm going to zoom in so you can see those. There we go, there's the marching ants. Now zooming out again so I can see what I'm actually doing with the photo. I'm going to hold down the left key and I'm going to take the eye and just put it there. As you can see, it merges slightly. It will merge in with the colors around it. Now, I don't want to do just one eye. I want to do more than one. So I'm going to take this again, and without getting rid of the marching ants, you'll see, but holding down the left key and drawing down, it leaves that eye there. And I'm gonna put another one here. I'm gonna leave it about the same gap, so about there. Can you see again, it's merged in with the colors around it. And I'm going to do, no, I'm not going to do one more. I'm going to leave it like that. To get rid of these marching ants, I just need to do Control D and the marching ants are gone. So let's leave that there for now. Now, obviously, I want to do his other eye now, so I'm going to repeat that process. Draw around the eye, like so. Left click down on the mouse, drag it up in line with the other eye, drop and then drag it down in line with this eye and drop. And I'm happy with that, so just to zoom in again to show you, I'm gonna do Command D and there they are. And you can see that it's merged in with the skin around it. Obviously near the eyebrows, it's a little less merged in because we've got hair there, but that is totally fine. It's not meant to look real. The whole point is to give us an unsettling feeling about a person's identity and grabbing our attention into the eyes or other features of the person's face. Now, we're going to do the mouth now, which is quite fun. So again, nice and slowly, holding down the left key on your mouse, draw around the mouth. Once you're happy, let go. If you're not happy with it, you can do Control Z, and that gets rid of the marching ants. So I'm just going to show you that close up. Well, that looks weird, doesn't it? Ooh, that looks creepy. So I'm going to draw around the mouth there. 
like so. Then let go and I'm happy. I'm not happy with that, so Command Z, sorry, Control Z on your computer. I've got a Mac, gets rid of the marching ants. So I'm gonna just do that one last time. Just draw around, I'm doing it quite quickly. There we go. All right, so let's zoom out again because we want a wider view of the image. And we're gonna move the mouth. Now I'm gonna put one on the chin, I think. There we go. And I'm gonna put one. No, I'm not quite happy just with the one on the chin. Shall I put one on his neck? I think I might put one on his neck. There we go, because that makes it look a bit weirder. Mundy. There we go, and we've got that. As you can see, I've got a line there showing me that that's the center of my photograph. I'm just gonna do a little bit with his nose as well. You need to know a little, have a little understanding of noses. So there we go. This is where it's gonna look ultra weird. I'm gonna drag that up to there. And we might just drag, no, I think I'm gonna leave that there. I'm going to do Command Z, Command Z, and Command D. So Command Z takes us back. So there's our photograph in the style of Lola Dupree. You can always just take the eye again if you want to. You might want to draw around it and just drag one down there. No, I don't like that one. See, just Command Z gets rid of it. Sorry, Control Z. Control Z gets rid of your selection. Control gets rid of what you've just done. I'm going to take that there. Run D. Control D, Miss Harvey. Control D. And I'm just going to have that there. I quite like that being a little off kilter. And I'm going to do one last one here. And we're going to take that down and put that down there. And then Command D to get rid of the marching ants. So there you go. Something in the style, not completely, but something in the style of Lola Dupree. Next thing we want to do is save it as a JPEG. Save it as a JPEG, you do File, Save As. In your photography folder, you want to save it as Dupree. And I've already done a couple of these, but I'm going to do it to pre color two because I've done the first one here. I've done one already here. So you're going to save it as one probably. And make sure you have JPEG selected there. Save. Make sure it's 12 and maximum. OK. Now we're going to make it black and white. So image, adjustments, black and white and you decide on what black and white you want. Default is quite nice on this. I quite like the default on this. Click OK. Then we want File, Save As, and then we want to change from color, get rid of the color, and do black and white, save, maximum. And there we have our two images, which is fantastic. Then all I want you to do is make sure that you put it on the right slide in your workbook. So if you go to your slides, if you go to your workbook, I've got this one open. I've got Alexander's open. If you go to this slide, the patch and clone tool, insert image, upload from your computer, and you should have your Dupree one. I've got my Dupree twos. Three, two, open, and there they are on your slide. Remember, you're going to put Jupri on here, so you might want to add another slide. Okay, fantastic, well done, and hopefully, sorry, Alexander, you're not having those. Um, hopefully, you will enjoy creating in the style of Dupree. It's 